Memphis Grizzlies fans, the parade inside my city year has come to an end because five games in, you guys have managed to lose all five games to start the season. On the bright spot, John Morant is just 20 games to go, but can he be the guy to fix your season? Can he put this team together despite missing Steven Adams for the season, Brandon Clark for the season? But before we get into that, welcome back to another video here with your boy NBA Addict TV where we provide the latest NBA content on the tube. Before we get started, guys, we are on the road to 1,000. 1,000 wow subscribers, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Turn on post notifications to not miss a single video. Now let's get into this. The Memphis Grizzlies has looked god awful to start the year. There's no way around it. And I know exactly why, but before I disclose that, let's check out some of the teams they lost to, right? So to start the year, they gave up 111 points to the New Orleans Pelicans. They kept it close with the Denver Nuggets the next game, but ultimately lost as well. To the Washington Wizards, they gave up 113 points. To the Dallas Mavericks, they gave up 125 points. And then tonight, to the Utah Jazz, they give up 133 points. To Utah, this team is unbearable to watch. They're awful. And it's crazy because just two years ago, this Memphis Grizzlies team had so much hype behind it. I mean, they made it to the second round of playoffs. Now, this year, they'll be lucky. Lucky if they can sniff the plane. John Morant cannot fix this. And I'll tell you exactly where the Memphis Grizzlies went wrong, right? During the Lakers series, right, where Dylan Brooks was being Dylan Brooks. In my opinion, I feel like the Memphis Grizzlies felt pressure from social media to remove Dylan Brooks from their equation they felt he was doing too much not understanding the culture and the continuity that he established with the core of the Memphis Grizzlies now that's gone Dylan Brooks is an all defensive first team type of player and that's not my opinion, that's facts. Not only do you give up Dylan Brooks, right, in order to replace the defensive intensity that Brooks brought, you trade for Marcus Smart. But to trade for Marcus Smart, you had to get rid of Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones was the reason you guys were able to stay afloat while John Morant was gone. But guess what? John Morant is gone, and so is Tyus Jones, and so is Dylan Brooks. And this is how your team looks. Oh, wait, there's more. Brandon Clark isn't coming back for the rest of the year, and neither is Steven Adams. Now, you're depending on guys like Jake LaRavia, David Roddy, Luke Kennard, Jacob Gilliard, John Conchar, and Kenneth Lofton Jr., who I'm really high on, but the brother has not seen consistent minutes. The Memphis Grizzlies had one of the worst off seasons that no one is talking about. A mixture of mismanaging your assets and bad luck. I mean, John Morant getting suspended another 25 games? Steven Adams still not being healthy and ultimately being ruled out for the season. We already know the deal with Brandon Clark. These are some dark days to be a Memphis Grizzly fan. I'm still waiting for Jaron Jackson Jr. to take the next step in his game offensively. John Morant is out. Ultimately, yeah, you're a good defensive player, but there's two sides of the ball and we've seen what he looks like specifically in that Lakers series in the playoffs when John Moran was out he looked phenomenal offensively I mean at times it looked like he could be the best player on that Memphis Grizzlies team but we have yet to see the return of that Jaron Jackson Jr and I'm waiting on it this cannot be the Desmond Bain and the Marcus Smart show one player I will say who has been playing pretty well is Zaya Williams Zaya Williams missed a lot of last season due to injury but he came to this year playing really aggressive with the opportunity given to him with all these Memphis Grizzlies being injured he's been rebounding the hell out of the ball and shout out to Xavier Tillman giving the starting center spot and I've seen some real development within his game he's even shooting the three ball a little bit I like that man this Memphis Grizzlies team has been a mess but with that being said guys let me know what you think make sure to leave a like subscribe comment down below we are on the road to 1,000 wow subscribers man I'll see y'all next video